Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I'm back after getting sick and getting a summer cold really sucks. So uh, what I did today was I gave myself a trim and I did a little bit of thinning as far as my hair goes to just get off the dead ends. And so uh, these are thinning shears. You can actually get them on Amazon. If you're not comfortable with thinning your own hair um, and you have you know, thick hair that you want to get thinned out. Your hairstylist will probably be more than happy to do this for you. Um, but I just uh, picked up the technique when I was younger, so I do it for myself. And then I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I have on today. did go ahead and start with the Glow Filter by Beauty Bay. I have mine in light instead of fair, so it's actually my summer shade. And that's what I have on as far as the base today. did go ahead and use the Buttermilk Bronzer. This one's in Buttercup. And this is the lightest one. It comes out kind of peachy on me. So, let's see. There we go. So that's what I have on there. Did go ahead and use the Elf Magic Hour as far as my blush. And um, the Revlon 201 Daybreak as far as the highlighter today. So, um, again, going for a really metals golden kind of look. And with the new Natasha Denona, their golden palette coming out, it seems that just about everybody's doing some gold looks right now. Um, I also used a Colourpop gel eyeliner in this look. And then as far as the eyeshadow, I used the 1111 palette. Oops, 1111. And I actually did a video of some gold eyeshadow palettes that you might already have. And for some reason, I forgot this palette. And I really shouldn't have because this is one of the newer palettes. And this definitely will give you a gold look. So um, I did go ahead and use this one today. I used uh, this color right under the brow. Uh, this one in the outer corner. This one in the crease. And then I did this color on the lid this uh, color on the inner corner. And in order to make it pop just a little bit more in the crease, I went ahead and used the color pop. This is their Jelly Mud Shadow in Most Wanted. So I went ahead and put that right in the crease to give it a little bit more definition. This is how the look turned out. So that's how that turned out. And if you're wanting to recreate some gold looks and you already have 1111, I would definitely say that you can definitely get a, a couple of gold looks out of here, some pewter looks, and um, definitely a neutral pink look if you want to. So um, other than that, I did go ahead and use the Let's see, Beauty Pie Triple uh, Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. Yeah, what is that? Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy Powder. Yep, that's what it is. So to go ahead and use this as a finishing powder today. It does have a lot of shine in it. And um, the Essence, and these are my usual volume stylist. And this one is in the Chrome and Hold. And then the Essence uh, Caramel Blonde is for Sobrasco. So that's the look today. And I hope that, oh, lips. I forgot lips. So um, did go ahead and use one of the matte inks by um, Maybelline. And then I went ahead and put the NYX Butter Gloss in the peach on top of it. And it seems to have walked away, so I'll have to leave it in the notes below here. But that's what I went ahead and did for the lips today. I think it's a really classic gold look. And so, um, yeah, it's definitely pretty, definitely office appropriate. And I think that's the video for today. So I hope that you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.